Afternoon, lovely viewer. How are you today? Right, I just wanted to do a quick video today. This here is Rose Deep Secret, and I'm going around today, and what I'm doing is I'm deadheading some of my roses, and I wanted to, to show you this quickly, if I, if I may. Now, this rose here is, it was two years potted, and this is its first year in the ground. So I guess you could say that it's three years old and your attention is drawn to this stem here. You see this stem? That stem there, that one. And for first flush, it didn't really, this stem, it re didn't really do anything for me for first flush and it doesn't, with second flush now approaching, it doesn't look like it's, it's doing much at all. Now, what I should do, what I could do, is perhaps leave this until January of next year. And then when I go around and do my pruning, I should perhaps prune it in January of next year back there, just cut it back there. That is perhaps what I should do. And I don't suggest you do this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this back now. It's not doing anything for me. It's the 1st of July today, and I don't think it's too late to to cut this to cut this back if i was to leave this until january of next year with all the roses that i've got and all the the stems that aren't doing too well the chances are i might forget now i wouldn't attempt this any later in the year than now but i think now's we can still get away with it just cut that back and the hope is that when i cut this back i hope we'll get another basil break come out here now, as you can see, there's two lovely basil breaks have come out the back there already, and they are doing fantastically well with lots of buds getting ready for, for second flush to come out there. They're doing very well. We've got a, a stem here that again is, is doing well. We've got another lovely stem here that's doing well. Now, if I get another basil break come out here, well, that will mean that come January of next year, I will have one, two, three, four. If I get a new one, come here, I will have five stems coming up from the base and that would be ideal for me. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna now cut that out there, but I don't suggest you do these types of things. This is just what, what I'm gonna do and we will see how we, how, we get on, how we get on from that. Now there's just a couple more things that I wanted to, to show you. In fact, I'm going to show you that as well, because that is a rose that's come out just today. That is pure poetry. And that is absolutely divine. That's another fragrant rose from pure poetry. Very nice. But I wanted to show you this here. Sorry about the camera swing. Now this rose here is porcelain parfumer. This is a new rose. I've had it now maybe four months. And after a slow start, this is a rose that's that's only recently started to sing. Now, I smelt it this morning. Very, very powerful fragrance. It's still very fragrant now. But this rose, these flowers have seen high heat, a lot of sunshine, full sun they're getting, and um, they haven't batted an eyelid. These flowers, this one here, it has to be four or five days old and it still looks in perfect condition. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy with, uh, with this rose, porcelain parfumer, very, very fragrant. And this rose here, this is the rose that I've got from Germany. I want you to ignore this flower. It needs deadheading, but this is rose courage. And this flower is at least a week old. I, when I bought this rose in Germany at the Cordes HQ, it was already in flower. So I've got no idea how long it was in flower for, but look at all this strong growth that's coming up. And I do like a rose that has this strong sort of sturdy stems coming up, but look at the size of it. <laughs> look at the size of it. Shall I show you the crock as well? I mean, that's your typical sort of rose from this country. Look at that there. Now this rose here, it cost me 15 pounds, 15 pounds, 18 euros. I paid for this rose here, 15 pounds. And that was from the headquarters 
of a German Rose breeder. 15 pounds. Now I know that the English Rose breeders, they, they have overheads and they have costs that need to be covered. They have gardens that need to be maintained. But how much would you pay from an English Rose breeder? This one costs 15 pounds and we're, we're meant to get excited over a 10% discount code. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. Look at that. Fantastic quality rose and at the height of the rose season. That is what we're talking about here, 15 pounds. I think that that is fantastic quality. Fantastic quality at a fantastic price. Right, lovely viewer, I know I'm putting out a lot of content of late. Um, that isn't something that's intentional, and I, I mean that. I absolutely mean that. But come winter, trust me, you you won't hear much from me, if anything. So um, I'm getting these videos out of the way, out of the way now. But I'm going to leave you with porcelain. In fact, shall I leave you with delightful perfumer? Because that is looking no. That is looking it's looking delightful today. But no, I don't want a long video. We're six and a half minutes, and I'm going to leave you with porcelain perfumer, Conor Maria. Right, lovely viewer. I hope you have a lovely day.